Hey guys, Train Guy here. Just uh, showing you the completed product. Finished it up last night. Uh, let it dry overnight and just threw some minis down on it today. So, uh, lots more to see. There's uh, been trees added. The walls now in and finished up. Uh, all the little odds and ends that need to be taken care of, taken care of. Uh, as you can see on the screen in here, you can see the trees are sticking up here and there, and basically all down through there. Uh, as promised, I'll tell you how I did that. I just basically took um, the trees, they're really, really long, so I clipped them off uh, just with a pair of scissors, spread out the branches, and then inside the bocage, I went in and I inserted um, straws down in. So uh, they're really hard to magnetize. These ones obviously can't accept a magnet at all. They're all kind of branchy and and single strand. So uh, and there's not enough metal in there to hold the magnet. So what I did is just insert a straw and it just slides in. You don't see the straw. It doesn't move. Or it, it moves slightly, but it doesn't tip over. It can still be easily plugged and played. Easy to go. All these are done the same way. If you see the tips of the straw, you just paint it black and then it's shadow. Oh, so here's going to go. Right there. This one. Again, just plug and play as you go. Kind of work it in. Sometimes if you don't get it right, it just. They are fairly. I made them as tight fitting as I could so they would stay upright. So, and then the end result is. Looks something like that. So, so as you can see, I've got many sort of spread out on the board just to give you some different. Uh, different looks, different uh, scale sizes, so you can see you got two approaching infantry here and they got a considerable distance to cover in between there, so you got lots of room to play, although it's 4x4 four four, there's tons of room. Um, I got a tank basically at either end so you can see it's a considerable distance between the two tanks. I'm standing exactly where you'd stand if you were playing the game, so you can see they're, they're, fairly, they're fairly small on, on camera, so Got some HMGs set up here just to show you the, the line where that cut is, just to see how versatile the board is. You could cover vast areas with small amounts of infantry, or in, in the open areas, or if you get into the pocket fighting, you're going to have to be have real isolated groups to uh, secure locations. So, um, uh, what else I want to say? Oh, I brought, I brought in the line, the sort of the limey green trees into the uh, dark area to sort of bring it back to that lighter green and then likewise with the other area I, I basically did the reverse I've used the darker trees on the lighter clump foliage to sort of bring it back to the to the medium color I think the overall effects uh, fairly decent uh, I'm happy with the board I think it's uh, it's pretty good um, it's great for a bocage board anyways I, I and I'm really happy with how the wall turned out down there I'm gonna throw some stills in on the rest of this video and then I'll let you guys uh, tell me how you uh, think in the comments. So uh, I've been getting a lot of subscribers lately too. So make sure you're telling your friends. I, I wouldn't mind uh, wouldn't mind jumping the subscriber number up, and uh, I plan to do some uh, some giveaways too. Not for terrain, uh, but for terrain elements. So um, not for entire boards. I mean, but I do have some buildings and things that I'm going to uh, be giving away here soon. So uh, let's pump the subscriber number up so we got more people uh, uh, in on the draw. So. Uh, stay tuned, guys. Cheers.